there. It really is. But uh, temperatures came up as the day went on, Eric, which is what you said would happen and felt pretty nice. Yeah, it's all relative in the world of weather. You know, it's 63 degrees in the summer and it's freezing outside. It's 28 degrees in January and it feels good after a high that was in the single digits yesterday. And today is seasonably cold day after that bitter start. The last couple ones, well below average. Yesterday was 21 degrees below average. So a big blue square on the calendar for this month of January, at least a couple cold days. But we still have a huge snow deficit for the season. You look at Boston, a foot and a half below average, over a foot below average in Worcester as well. And there's nothing in the forecast for the rest of this week. In fact, a heavy rainfall is on the way in. Temperatures tonight will take an early dive back with some mainly clear skies, just thin high clouds moving across. But a big push of mild air will be making its way into New England starting tomorrow. This area of low pressure tracking up through the Great Lakes, and it'll be easy to push some of that warmer air in. High pressure, instead of hanging out to our north, is drifting over toward Bermuda. So it's not the type of setup where the cold can really hold on longer than expected. I think this is going to be pretty widespread in our area. So tonight we get down to about 10 early, even some upper single digits. But the clouds roll in, a southerly breeze develops, and by tomorrow morning, the temps actually come up a little into the middle teens. By afternoon, we're getting into the 30s. Not a lot of sunshine tomorrow. Some breaks of sun. We'll call partly sunny overall, but it won't be as brilliantly sun, uh, sunny as what we had out there today. And the winds will be increasing out of the south as well. You'll notice them getting pretty gusty as we head into the afternoon and some showers arriving as we head toward tomorrow evening. So here's a look at the general feel hour by hour. The teens in the morning rising up into the 40s during the afternoon. The showers arriving late. And then tomorrow night, a lot of fog developing. Whenever you've got rising dew points and temperatures, some rain falling on top of our snowpack, which is pretty much a glacier at this point. There's going to be some very poor visibility around the region tomorrow night. We wake up on Thursday morning, temperatures rising into the 50s. Also, some very heavy rainfall that'll develop during Thursday morning. In fact, this line of downpours could feature some thunder, some lightning, some gusty winds, and a lot of standing water out there on the roadway. So, we trade a wintry mess for more of a springtime kind of a mess around the region. With all those temperatures rising and all the snow melting, we're going to have water just sitting all over the place. Dew points will be climbing as well. Well, we show these a lot during the summer, but dew points in the 40s and 50s tomorrow night into Thursday, very efficient at breaking apart some of those icy bonds, breaking down the snow and leading to quite a bit of melting. I don't think we'll get rid of all of it, but a significant amount of that ice and snow is going to get chewed up by the storm. Widespread one to two inches of rainfall, some localized totals over two are possible, especially toward the south coast and the Cape, same areas that saw a ton of rain over the weekend. And our highest impact travel looks to be about mid-morning on Thursday to mid-afternoon, with the rain ending as we head toward Thursday evening. Also, some gusty winds expected with this one, strongest in southeastern Mass. A few gusts over 50 miles per hour are going to be possible. Then, things will freeze up again on Thursday night. Temperatures will reach the 20s by Friday morning. There'll be some melting again on on Friday with temps in the mid-30s, and it looks like a cold start to the weekend, just 20s on Saturday. Dave and Lisa, back to you.